Hello everybody, this is Rani, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. Today we are going to answer a question that I found in our Learn to Design with Canva Facebook group, uh, a question asked by Shona. And Shona was showing us a, a visual that she found and she said, how do I get this effect? How can I reproduce this effect? I don't even know what to call it. Uh, or how to find a tutorial. Is this a fade? Is this a blur? Thank you in advance for your help. So let's, like, let's have a look at the, the visual itself. So it's a photo that seems to fade to white, right? So this is now possible to create with Canva and that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. So let's jump right into Canva. So this is the Canva homepage. Uh, I have created myself a little uh, document that I want to show you, this. So gradients that fade to transparent. So let's see, let's deconstruct how I created this specific visual right here. And this will uh, teach you how to create images like the one shown I was uh, showing in the group, all right? So for this, I already have created a document. This is the presentation format. I'm just going to add a new page. And the trick is, uh, here is to find the proper elements in Canva in order to create this background that fades to white, right? That fades to transparent, basically. Um, so recently Canva has added a, an element under the gradient section. So in order to find it, you'll have to go to your elements tab and then in the gradient section, all right? So you go to gradients, click on all, then you have to scroll down through all these gradients and you're looking for a square gradient that is purple and transparent on the other side. So this is this one. If I click on the three little dots right here, it says gradient that fades to transparency. So this is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna click on my blank page right here and click on this gradient. So let me arrange that and drag it so you can basically make it bigger and as, as big as it needs to be. And then you have a gradient that fades from whatever color to transparent. So you can of course change the colors, this one. And the second one, you cannot change it because it's transparent. So it shows like uh, the white color, but it is not white, it's just transparent. So the first one you can decide to, I don't know if you want to go pink, if you want to go green, orange, it's really entirely up to you. I, I'll go fuchsia um, and then also the positioning if you make it bigger you see the positioning is important so now let's add a photo to this mix so if I want to kind of recreate this uh, this visual right here I will import a photo of myself but here I'm using a cutout photo so you can do this you can use the cutout photo if you have some but th the whole point of using this type of fading gradient is that you can use it also with a plain photo. So let's find a plain photo. Let's say, for example, I want to create uh, a, an image that is more, that is closer to what Shona is showing here in the group. So we have a photo and then it fades to white and leaves some nice space here so that I can maybe add my logo, add some text, add some information about what's going on in the photo, right? create a flyer like this. So let's let's reproduce something similar to this. First, I'm going to choose a photo. Let's say I want to add this photo here of the family at the pool, right? So I'm going to position it correctly so that it fits at least my page in terms of width, in terms of height, sorry. And then I'm gonna move this slightly like this. So I have a decent size space here to uh, write my text or whatever. I could even do a bit more like this. So we'll cut the father, sorry, father, and just keep the mother and the two kids, all right? So now back to my gradient here, let's position this on top. So let's bring this forward. Instead of fuchsia uh, fading to transparent, I'll go white fading to transparent. And now let me realign this. Now I have my gradient here that I'm going to flip around. I'm going to like rotate this like this. Now I have the transparent side on this side and the white side on the other side, right? You see this? 
So the next thing I need to do is to move this so that it looks, you kind of make the edge of your photo disappear by dragging the gradient to the right position, like this. So basically here I'm, uh, I'm blurring a lot of the image, so maybe not uh, ideal, I can reduce the size of it, see? can go something like this, but if I want to blur, I want to make the, the edge of this photo disappear, I will have to be very precise to obtain this kind of result. If I want to move everything to the other side, like if I think this is too much like this, I can select them all. So my, my, um, my gradient is here. I'm gonna move this photo slightly, bring back the father, for example. And again, find the perfect positioning. If I make it snap to the other one, you will see a line here. You can see the line. So I select it and go one stroke to the right with my keyboard arrow. And now the line kind of blurs, disappears and blends with my gradient here. So again, how did I manage to achieve this result? I have a photo here, okay? that I leave and I leave some white space, then I get the gradient that fades to transparency. And this one, you can find it under your elements, gradients. And this is this gradient right here that says gradients that fades to transparency. Okay, I got it here. I can choose whatever color, just be aware that the second color is not a color, it's the transparent feature, the transparent color, if you, if you would call uh, transparency a color but the first one is the color you can actually control so if you use any color then you'll have this kind of effect but if you use white then you can easily like transition to white and then I will just snap this to my to the edge of my picture but then I will have to select it move it one uh, stroke to the right so that it blurs the line, it blends the line with the rest of your document. And that's how you use it. Then what you can do next is basically to um, group these two documents, these two elements, so that now you can use them, you can move them around as you wish. So this is pretty convenient as well. And you can use this part of the picture here to uh, write some text or add your logo or whatever. Let's take a look at, let's delete, let's delete this. Let's take a look at another uh, application of this. So I typed in uh, Google image fading gradient and you see, I found this. So this is Phil, Phil Ebiner here is a famous teacher, online instructor. So he does here a fade from this solid color, which, which is kind of green teal color to transparent. And so we can achieve something like this pretty easily this is a plain photo here. It's not a cutout photo like I have here in Canva, like this one. So to achieve this, I would use a plain photo of myself. Let me see if I have something like this uh, in stock here. Uh, let me see what I have. <laughs> I have this photo. Yeah, let, let's use this. Okay, this is not the highest resolution photo, but just to show you, how to apply this effect. So this is me working in Africa, shooting some movies recently in uh, Ivory Coast. So now I'm just going to use the same uh, fade to transparency gradient, this. And this time I'm gonna turn it around like this. So 180 degrees, make this bigger so that it comes all the way to here, like this. Let's move this a little bit more. Let's say something like this. Looks nice. And then what I need to do is to add a solid to to have like a really like a solid gradient. Like in our example here, it goes from very solid to slowly fading to transparent, right? So let's do this. Uh, for this, just add a shape going back to my uh, elements tab, I delete the gradient, I just go for a shape, like this one, then I'll just adjust its size like 
this and then what I need to do now is select the same color as this purple right here for my gradient for my shape this, this one and you can see still we can see this line here in the middle where the two elements actually connect so I'm just going to make this slightly bigger and then with my keyboard arrow one stroke to the left like this and this should make the the connection the junction here disappear and this is how you achieve this kind of effect so again going back to our example here um, we have a fading solid that goes to transparent and this is very useful to add some text like he did here create some thumbnails anything like that so you can do this of course this picture that i use is not the best one so that's why i created this one to show you uh, but this is basically how you would do it so guys i hope this tutorial was useful uh, and if it was again like always you can share it you can comment you can show me your creation in the comments uh, i'm always happy to see what you guys come up with and for the rest i will see you in the next tutorial in the next video